reminds me of, uh, say, 20 years ago when people were, were into reincarnation. And everybody thought they were reincarnated from Cleopatra. You know, nobody ever thought they were reincarnated from anybody you, dumb. Um, and um, and it, this is sort of the 21st century, you know, digital DNA equivalent for people to be able to have some sort of fantasy about being connected with some uh, ancient culture or something more quote unquote exotic than themselves and believe there's some scientific basis to it. But it turns out that the test we did uh, gave us 18,000 years in before. So all of us are going, whoa, <laughs> that's like, uh, that's way more than we can handle, you know? It makes, doesn't make any sort of contextual sense for you. That's a long time. That's before we were recorded history. Disappointment, kind of. This is fine, but I already knew that I started in Africa. And, and in terms of my sort of pattern, you know, I found out that I, I come from, and I absolutely come from, you know, my origins are Japan, which is, you know, that's, I already knew that. You know, I, I long for something else. And, you know, I think what the group found and what I found, it's very general. This whole process of taking the test, getting the results, which were really confusing, it was all a bunch of numbers. Um, it was fascinating because I thought the science would provide me with a lot of answers, but instead I had way more questions. And so I started thinking about what I knew about DNA um, in general, from watching the news, um, reading the newspaper, just being on top of what's happening uh, with the Human Genome Project. Now that we've taken the tests and we've seen both what the science can do and also the limitations of the science, um, I feel the DNA Project allows us to look at the questions we would have looked at anyway, which are about who we are, ancestry, the relationship between nature and nurture, um, in a personal context, and with the, the sort of informed by the fact that there's this science out there. Um, but I think it's interesting that most of us have chosen to um, not address the science particularly directly, or if we address it directly, um, it's in my case to lampoon it a bit. Uh, because ultimately, to, to ask science to tell you who you are is, is a shortcut. It's lazy. And we still have to ask those same questions ourselves. And I remembered that a while back I ran into write this play about Rosalind Franklin. She's uh, an English scientist who actually was the crystallographer who saw the actual DNA, was the first to see it. But she didn't get the credit for it and she died very young, and so Watson and Crick, which we all learned in high school, um, got the Nobel Prize for discovering DNA. But in actuality, it was a woman. So I thought I would write about this subject, but then uh, I didn't, uh, I put it aside. And so when this DNA project came up, I thought, oh, this is my opportunity. But in the end, because it's such a personal thing to swab, and see your numbers and wonder what that means to you and your family and your history. I put that preconceived notion aside and tried to explore more closely what it meant to me. You know, taking the DNA test uh, was really exciting. The results were really disappointing. And all of a sudden I began thinking about nature versus nurture because so much discussion revolves around that surrounds the whole DNA debate. Uh, twins, twins separated at birth uh, and sent off to different families can uh, behave very similarly, whereas siblings growing up in the same family are completely different. So nature versus nurture became a huge question for me. If we go back 60,000 years and we find out, for instance, that we're connected to Japan, which I knew about myself, but also connected to, to India or to Cuba, uh, which I didn't necessarily know about myself. These things are all very fascinating. However, it was 60,000 years ago. <laughs> and so, uh, in a way, the science becomes so uh, antiquated, at least in terms of what it's referring to, that it doesn't have any relevance to who I am today. We often go on these journeys of self-discovery and you think you're going to find all these things out about yourself uh, you know, by seeking out someone from your past or someone that you didn't know or finding out a, a family secret. But in fact, that it's, to me, what it communicates is that it's very hard to really 
that, that knowing ourselves is so complex and that there's not one secret that's going to reveal the truth about who you are, who, where you come from, that it's, a much, it's a, about a journey. And I think that each of these plays really sort of deals with that in one way or another. Some of them are very funny, some of them are quite uh, intense, uh, some of them are sort of magical, but they all kind of deal with that desire to know where we come from and also I think kind of the impossibility of, of really pinpointing what it is that makes us who we are.